Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Every taxpayer has the right to retain representation when working with the IRS. Well, that's great, IRS. However, rather than the right to retain representation, could I instead just retain my money? But first, an attempt at a joke. At my last IRS audit, the IRS agent told me that a leopard can't change its spots. I guess a leopard can't change its spots. Uh, I don't know that much about leopards. And I was like, what? What are we talking about? Who are you to tell a leopard what to do with their spots? Who are you to judge me? The leopard can do whatever it wants with its body, dang it. Mr. Mr. Giraffe. Uh, leopard's body, leopard's choice. That's what I'm talking about. Who lets little, little boys grind on his rump? Dang fascist leopard oppressors. Die, you fascist bastard! I mean, now I can see why leopards sometimes have to rise up and eat people. Rise up. You are a mighty warrior. Rise up like a phoenix. I mean, it'd be like if the IRS tried to tell me that I had to cut my hair. So who died? A close family member? Nah, worse, my barber. And it hit me pretty hard, too. Uh, who am I gonna get to cut my hair? I'd be like, well, hey, I'm gonna cut my hair when I'm good and ready and not a second before, you dang controlling sons, bitch. Sir, don't you think you've had enough? I tell you when I've had enough. What's that? Not cutting your hair may mean the state considers you to be transgender, requiring the government to perform mandated castration? Uh, hold on, hold on a second here. Wait a minute! I thought we only did that kind of thing these days to young children. Please, I only did that so I could stop the kids during school hour. I, that crap doesn't apply to me. I've been grandfathered in under the old rules. Herb gardens installed before August 1988 are grandfathered in and therefore permitted under HOA bylaws. So I've been grandfathered in. Deirdre's was planted in 87, but you already knew that, didn't you? Turns out. I was just a pawn in your little game. What's that? You got my parents' approval? Wait, wait a second. They would never... Actually, that's not all that surprising. That's not surprising. I'm afraid I am not a very popular girl among the Talaxian people. But still, I, I, that doesn't matter. I'm an adult. Day. I've been grandfathered in under the old rules. Honestly, kids are in trouble these days, I'm telling you. You kids are nothing but trouble! Curse me, kilts, have I missed trouble! IRS Tax Tip 2022-143, September 19th, 2022. Taxpayers have the right to retain an authorized representative of their choice to represent them when they are dealing with the IRS. They also have the right to seek assistance from a low-income taxpayer clinic if they cannot afford representation. There's a link to that here. This is one of the 10 fundamental rights of all taxpayers as outlined in the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. There's a link to that here what the right to retain representation means for taxpayers. Taxpayers have the right to retain an authorized representative of their choice to represent them in their dealings with the IRS. Taxpayers who are heading to an interview with the IRS may select someone to represent them. So in a similar way as you might have dealt with a court case or something like that, you might have a lot of kind of things that need to be happening with regards to going to court and that kind of thing, possibly being able to hire someone to act as your agent to uh, represent you in some of those cases, similar kind of process possibly with IRS representation, having someone in essence act on your behalf, basically acting as your agent. Taxpayers who retain representation don't have to attend with their representative unless the IRS formally summons them to appear. So one of the great things if you're able to have representation, if you can afford representation, is they can go to some of the mandated kind of uh, things that will be taking place and, and represent you there. So that'll save you a little bit of time at least, if not hopefully saving you money as well as they act in your interest. In most situations, the IRS must suspend an interview if the taxpayer requests to consult with a representative such as an attorney, certified public accountant, or enrolled agent. So if you're dealing with an IRS agent, you're saying, okay, hold on a sec. I think this might have gone over my head. Maybe I need to get some representation. You should be allowed the time to do so in general. Any attorney, CPA, enrolled agent, 
enrolled actuary or other person permitted to represent a taxpayer before the IRS who's not disbarred or suspended from practice before the IRS may submit a written power of attorney to represent a taxpayer before the IRS. So this is a similar kind of process. You're going to be hiring someone and giving them a power of attorney that's given them some limited in scope generally capacities to be acting in your interest possibly dealing with the irs agent and having some leeway in terms of the decisions that can be made on your behalf so taxpayers have the right to seek assistance from an litc if they can't afford representation they can find an litc near them by visiting the low income taxpayer clinic page there's a link to that here or by calling the irs as toll free at 800-829-3676. I won't repeat that a hundred times because it'll be in the link if you want to look at it uh, in more detail. LITCs are independent from the IRS and the Taxpayer Advocate Service. There's a link that here. These clinics represent individuals whose income is below a certain level and who need to resolve tax problems with the IRS. LITCs can represent taxpayers in audits, appeals, and tax collection disputes before the IRS and in court. In addition, LITCs can provide information about taxpayer rights and, rep and responsibilities in different languages for individuals who speak English as a second language. Services are offered for free or a small fee. More information below. You got publication 4134 low income taxpayer clinic list. You got publication 4134 low income taxpayer clinics. That's in Spanish version. If you want to read it in Espanol as well, there'll be links to that here. There'll be links to this in the description.